<laughs> My bad. I'm over here looking at the queen are obviously Jay Z and Beyonce. Who's worse? The king has a history. The queen was playing no games this year. Not only did she slay the red carpet, but she also allegedly had the fashion designer banned from the event. To make things worse, the king has a history with the designer's ex-husband, so we can understand why the queen did what she did. But with this designer's messy nature and her current ongoing custody battle with her ex-husband being blasted all over social media, we can see why no one wants her around. And the king and queen are obviously Jay-Z and Beyonce, and the band fashion designer was Rachel Roy. <laughs> with her ex-husband being Damon Dash. I'm not sure anyone ever figured them for a couple or would, but they did hook up once. This foreign-born and former A-plus list movie actor who is still a pain in the butt A-lister and this A-plus list singer slash diva who sometimes does a group thing. After a show several years ago, she was married, he was in between marriages. And this is allegedly Beyonce and Ryan Reynolds. Stick around for part six. Man, yeah. man, man. What y'all thinking, man? It's up. We got nine. Well, I know if my man was cheating on me all the time, it's pretty much a wrap. And then if I can't legally divorce him, man, you got to you gotta have some kind of outlet or you're going to go crazy or something. Slave over there, allegedly, or something, man. We're going to get to that later, though. Here's part six of a deep dive into Beyonce's blind items from the last 10 years. We are in September of 2015. Did you know there is another a plus list singer out there just like britney spears the only thing that managed to keep this other a plus list singer out of the headlines is that she is watched 24 7 much like britney is now our singer was headed down a road of hair shaving and pink wig wearing but then got involved with a celebrity who saw their potential as a power couple he loved the idea of creating a brand with her while at the same time being able to do whatever he wanted with whoever he wanted, and she would never say or do anything. It is just not in her nature. Apparently, she is almost dead behind the eyes and is happy just taking photos of herself and traveling the world. She would rather stay home than have to have to get dressed to the level of what is expected. She would rather just watch television or talk to her friends. Her guy loves it. He goes out all the time alone and is never asked about his life by her. Others close to her call him out, but not her. And again, this is allegedly Beyonce and Jay-Z. In October of 2015, this permanent A-list singer from a singing family was put in the middle this week. She had to tell this A-list mostly sad. the actress not to come to a show because the A-plus list singer would be there who was not on good terms with the actress after years of being friends. And this is allegedly Janet Jackson having to tell Gwyneth Paltrow she was not allowed to come to a show. In November of 2015, at the advice of her team, including her A-plus list husband, this A-plus list singer decided not to speak out in favor of equality for LGBT people in her hometown. In January of 2016, the entertainer has been sneaking around all cagey about whether she is hiding something under her big clothes. Do you realize that she plays the same card every year? In fact, last year she did it twice. Well, yesterday we were told exactly how long the tease is going to last this time. Not 40 days, only half that time, 20 days. Then she will show you what's going on under there. In the meantime, it's going to be 20 days of daily photos and speculation leading up to the big reveal. No, it doesn't matter what else is going on that day. She wants all of the focus on her and all of the conversation about her. And yes, she is rehearsing the big reveal. Nothing spontaneous about her and her relentless PR machine. In February of 2016, for her new music video, this A-plus list singer decided to just steal a bunch of footage and let the owners of the footage try and beat her in court. Even though it was stolen, she doesn't care. She thinks they will give up when they think about taking her and her money on in court. And that is allegedly the Formation music video. Stick around for part seven. Let's get to part seven, man. I told you I'm going to go through the first 10, then I'm going to get to some other uh, parts of the show, and we're going to go over the next set tomorrow night because it's going to take us a while to expose Beyonce and Jay-Z. I'm going to be honest with y'all. It's going to take a while. I think this is part No, we're right doing now. it tonight, Let's bro. get to this we're next one. Let's go. 
Here's part seven. Oh, my bad. Part seven. Yeah, it's part seven. Of a deep dive into Beyonce's blind items from the last 10 years. We are in March of 2016. The mistresses of this A-plus list rapper slash mogul are dropping like flies. The latest one to lash out is this A-plus list singer who is in a war with her boss slash former lover over her music and her substance use and her commitment to working. He better not push her too hard because she has enough money to live a very long time and she knows some of the very big secrets, the ones the wife doesn't know. And that's allegedly Rihanna. It is about time she got back at her husband. This A-plus list singer is hooking up with her bodyguard. Apparently, the husband is afraid of the guy, which probably helps. In April of 2016, there is always an understood rule in the marriage of this A-plus list singer slash mogul and her A-plus list rapper slash mogul husband. When he is going to hook up with a woman, he goes to a house that's not currently in use by his wife. Lately, though, she keeps showing up during the middle of the night at these houses while he is entertaining. She wants to see his new main side pieces. In the past, this A-plus list singer has ignored anything to do with LGBT issues. She just likes to bury her head in the sand. There is talk that she's going to do that again and not answer any questions or make any comments about her decision to play shows in areas where there are currently LGBT laws coming under fire. Money is her number one motivator. She believes staying away from anything that puts her in the headlines is the best way to achieve that money. This A-plus list singer has fired two directors in charge of her live concert footage. Each one dared to show up on the big screen angles our A-plus lister found unflattering. She didn't give either one of them a second chance. This A-plus list singer has no problems with the fact that people earn slave wages making her clothes. It is all about the money. Always has been and always will be. She has zero interest in social activism. In June of 2016, this A-plus list couple knows how to play up the media, want to dispel those marriage trouble rumors, show up to a nationally televised event, and stay cuddled up. It is what happens after the event is over that really matters, though. Separate ways. In July of 2016, this A-plus list singer with the A-plus list husband said she wouldn't perform at an upcoming television show if the other A-plus list singer was present. No problem. The network didn't want the headache anyway. And that was allegedly Taylor Swift. Watch out for part eight. Let's get to part eight, y'all. Let's get to part eight, y'all. Are y'all ready? Man, man, man. This Now, this couple, man, now, when they skeletons come out, I'm telling you, man, it's going to be some shit. It's going to be a shit storm because you, you, I think Jay-Z might be worse than Diddy, man. I'm going to be real. I think Diddy is definitely creepy and very odd person. I think Jay-Z more calculated. But if his skeletons were to, were to hit the internet, it'd be a wrap. Here's part eight of a deep dive into the last 10 years of Beyonce's blind items. We are in July of 2016. Tired of getting slammed for her own ticket sales, this married A-plus list singer had her PR people leak a story to tabloids about her rival A-plus list singer and her lack of ticket sales. And this is allegedly Rihanna. Here's one from the Video Music Awards. This A-plus list singer wanted no part of this foreign-born A-list singer slash award winner and had her seated as far away as MTV was willing. The husband of the A-plus list singer was not happy <coughs> when he heard the news. And this is also allegedly Rihanna. In August of 2016, no amount of cameras were going to make this A-plus list singer and her A-plus list mogul husband interact with each other after the week they just had. Apparently, one of the women he sleeps with on a regular basis severely injured herself in a fall at his house. We got 2,000 people in here, y'all. We hit another 2K. Another 2K. Yeah, get the likes up, y'all. Make sure y'all get the likes up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Had, Let's go. I wish I had 2K. the two of them at can some please hit the like, guys? Hi, as you come in, hit the like. Please hit the like if you're being entertained. Okay, the fee is just to click the like if you'd like to donate to my cash app because you're being entertained thoroughly with tea that you may or may not have ever heard. Please feel free to donate to the cash app to the Tommy Cole Show TV. 
It's greatly appreciated. Okay, a sister did just lose her job. This is gonna be my job though. I'm, I'm gonna make this my job somehow, but we are gonna do this. Let's press play. At the Coldplay concert in the Hamptons. What do you do if you are a ghostwriter for this A plus list singer? You keep your mouth quiet about it. They didn't, and now they won't get any work songwriting for anyone any longer. And that is probably Diana Gordon. In October of 2016, this A plus list singer is getting paid $2 million for a 30 minute concert. One catch, the dictator she is performing for either has to come to the US or meet in a country other than his own. She doesn't want anyone to know. This A plus list rapper slash mogul does his best to avoid this rapper on his label who owes him a ton of money. The rapper, though, is always calling and texting and trying to meet up for dinners and photos so it looks like the two are friends. They aren't. The A plus list singer wife of the mogul dislikes the rapper and his wife even more than the mogul. And that is allegedly Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. In December of 2016, if this now secluded A-list reality star ever wants to be friends with the couple, her oh, oh gosh, oh my gosh, come on, oh my gosh. Oh. Her husband owes millions of dollars to, that time has now passed. Our reality star has come down on the side of the worst enemy of this A-plus list singer who also slept with the husband of the A-plus lister. And that is allegedly Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, and the worst enemy is Rachel Roy. And they are referring to Kim Kardashian as the secluded A-list reality star because this is just after she was robbed in Paris. Forcing her to have her PR people put out a statement has just made things worse between the two A-plus list singers. It has not been this bad between them since back in the day when one of the singers was still hooking up with the husband of the other. And that is allegedly Brianna. Stick around for part nine. Man, man, man. We got two more of these for today. And then we're going to get to some more content with this shit. But uh, don't think we're going to start. We going in on Jay-Z and Beyonce for at least another hour. I got I still got like another hour's worth of content. So we're going to continue to dig and dig and dig on Jay-Z and Beyonce. We not nowhere near done tonight. So let's go. Here is part nine of a deep dive into Beyonce's blind items from the last 10 years. In December of 2016, apparently no amount of time is going to help the relationship between this foreign born A plus list singer and this stateside born A plus list singer. They just don't like each other at all. And this week there was some serious trolling done by the foreign born singer of the other singer. And again, this is allegedly Rihanna. In February of 2017, Beyonce is forging full steam ahead with plans to play Coachella, even with her two buns in the oven. Sources involved in pulling off Coachella tell us that Bay has no intention of canceling and has already booked two other big artists to join her on stage. She's made housing arrangements out in the desert for her guest stars, and we're told that both knew well in advance that Beyonce's Prego. One of the performers is from the Rock Nation roster, and the other is from a different label, but still close to Bay. Our sources say that guests have blocked off their schedules for the gig and there is no going back now. It's still unclear how she'll handle the performance since she'll be in her third trimester by April. The beehive may not love it, but there's always the seated option. And these two artists were Shakira and Lady Gaga. And this obviously ended up not happening because she postponed her Coachella performance to the following year and had her twins in June of 2017. In April of 2017, this A-list musician is planning on dropping her next album completely out of the blue, a source tells us. It won't be announced, it won't be promoted, it'll just be dropped out of the blue. I guess this is the new thing. In May of 2017, this permanent A-list singer from a group and also solo made it clear that she would not attend an event if any member of this reality family would also be there. The matriarch was there and our singer was ticked. I mean, really ticked. There won't be a big check this year from her or her husband. And that is allegedly the Jenners and Kardashians at the wearable art gala. In June of 2017, this is getting creepy. It is stalkerish. There was a fake editing to make it look like you attended something you didn't. And now you wanna use the same surrogate that they used for their first baby 
or your next child. And that is allegedly Kim Kardashian. In June of 2017, just before she gave birth to the twins, it is quite the production to get all of the various players in the A-plus list baby drama from the corners of the globe to a hospital room in LA to make everything look perfect. In September of 2017, she went, but this A-plus list singer was not happy about going, and it was all fake smiles all night long, especially when she had to hug it out with this foreign-born A-list singer. And that is allegedly Rihanna. Stick around for part 10. So it seemed like Beyonce and Rihanna got this whole little beef. It's like an unspoken beef. The industry knows about this beef. We've heard about the beef. There is a real beef between Beyonce and Rihanna. And Jay-Z been knocking down Rihanna for a long, long time. Allegedly. Let's continue. This is the... uh. I'm going to do this. This is the deep dive on Beyonce. We're going to finish this part of tomorrow, but I got some more videos after this. But let's get to Here's it. Here's part 10 of a deep dive into the last 10 years of Beyonce's blind items. We are in November of 2017. This permanent A-list rapper knows that there are multiple women who are about to expose him for the hundreds of times he has cheated on his wife. So is hoping his admission of a few women will cover the hundreds. Nice try. At that big wedding this week, this permanent A-list singer who is permanently a plus list in the minds of many had requested to be seated as far away as possible from that reality star momager she can't stand. And that is allegedly Kris Jenner at Serena Williams' wedding. In January of 2018, this A-plus list couple are using one of their children to launder and hide money with all kinds of companies and accounts created in her name. And that is allegedly Blue Ivy. Here's a blind item from the Grammy Awards. This permanent A-list singer said, don't talk to me for the rest of the night. You are awful, now hold my hand and smile. Apparently the argument that preceded it with her A-plus list husband is the reason they were both late to the show. In March of 2018, this foreign-born former A-minus list rapper who has some serious nominations and wins to her credit is trying to make a comeback after a very quiet few years. Knowing her, she will make a big splash, and I think she is going to spill a lot about an affair she had with this permanent A-plus list rapper because she hates him and his wife. And that is allegedly MIA. You know who is good at keeping secrets? Well, actually, I think we already knew this permanent A-list singer is good at keeping secrets. She is so good at it, though, that I don't think any of us suspected that she is a closet pothead. Yep, our married singer is right up there with Snoop when it comes to her love of herb, but she has never uttered a peep or been caught until now. In the past, I wrote about this permanent A-list couple and the surrogate factory they own. Despite the millions they have made from show business, they make much more owning this factory. Now they have a new business. Women who don't want to carry babies but still want to make money sell their uterus. The clients so far are very wealthy Europeans and Russians who are either too old to have babies or some other fertility problem. Our permanent A-list couples charge 10 times what they do for a surrogacy. However, the donor rarely makes more than $500 to $1,000 for the surgery, and there is no follow-up care after they are discharged from the hospital. And this is alleging to their surrogacy farm in India. Watch for part 11. Man, man, man. Do y'all think they got a, a farm out there in India? Do y'all believe that that's true, that they got a farm out there somewhere in India Y'all think Jay-Z and Beyonce really running a surrogate farm or something like that? Let's continue this shit right here. We're not done. We just getting started with Jay-Z and Beyonce. We are. Who's enjoying the shit show? Click like, click like, click like, click like. What's up, Tyrone Church? What's cracking? We'll get to 2K soon. I wish we could get to 2K. <laughs> I got 12. I'm happy. Shit. It's probably almost the most I've ever had. No, the most I ever had was like 35, maybe 40. Anyway, please click the like. Share it, you know, share it. Just share this, you know. Mention the Domico show. You know what I'm saying? Just getting started. Let's continue. 
Let's continue. Blue Ivy is not Jay Z's child. Ty Ty Smith is. It was a financial arrangement. And it worked out for them. Let's get something straight. You don't understand, first of all. We're not talking negative about a child. We're just sharing facts. See, me being on the scene, I'm only telling my side of the story. I'm telling what I know. To you, as a fan, you are a financial accounting number. You are a decimal in this in industry. This child knows who she is. She understands the arrangement of her singing, of her existing, of her being. She will be well taken care if anything were to happen. So well, y'all listening to this shit? Hold on. This is the ex-bodyguard telling y'all this shit. Listen to this. You are a financial accounting number. You are a decimal in this in industry. This child knows who she is. She understands the arrangement of her seeming, of her existing, of her being. She will be well taken care if anything were to happen to her parents. She knows who her father is. She knows who her mother is because at the end of the day, their names are on that piece of paper that states. Now, I don't agree. Tyler Devereaux. I'm inviting not, you to attend my I do not agree with that one. I do believe Jay-Z is that girl's pappy. She looked just like him. They are the parents. I'm going to ask for that. That's the same shit with Obama daughters, though. You can't find no history of them. I don't believe that. Either. drugs, he pumps down. Here we go. We're also on that island. All of these same people. We're on that island together. Yeah, I'm all of these that people one, frequented that island. All these powerful black couples, the Obamas, the Jay-Z, and they fund oh, Ken Porter and Diddy, Jay-Z and Beyonce, all of them were on this island. Every one of them. Usher, everybody. Adam. Jamie Foxx. Why, why has Jay-Z been coming up with you lately? Because he's a monster. I waited a long time to see if he would grow a conscience. And the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in a uh, uh, No, girl. <laughs> Jaguar went on to say that Beyonce's fans need to do the same as Britney Spears' fandom and start a free Beyonce movement because Jay-Z is treating his wife like a prisoner. I'm I tell you this right now. Well, I said Michelle, but y'all know I'm talking about Mike. Well, whatever. Y'all know Big Mike. Right now, y'all talking about free Britney. Y'all need to be doing a, a campaign that say free Beyonce. Uh, Beyonce is she is a prisoner in a gilded cage. Uh, Fans are now saying this makes perfect sense because Beyonce has been acting really strange since Jay-Z's cheating got exposed to the public. Plus the fact that none of these A-list celebs have even threatened to sue Jaguar for defamation speaks volumes. You can look at Beyonce's eyes and see something's just not right, one fan said. She looks empty and miserable these days. And another fan commented, guys, how did we miss that? That last album is super dark. She's been acting funny. Also, to perform those rituals and sacrifices, you need to be high on something. However, some fans are saying Beyonce is not quite as naive as she seems, and they've accused her of being complicit in whatever dark business Jay-Z is allegedly involved in. One fan said, if y'all think for one second that her hands are clean, then y'all don't know Bay as well as you think you do. And another person added, Beyonce ain't no damn prisoner. She's just as bad as he is, if not worse. People want Beyonce to be innocent so bad shaking my head but now let's hear your opinions on this do you think jay-z is controlling beyonce or are they both involved in some shady business let us know in the comments and if you thought this story was messy make sure to check out this next video for even more tv man 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 is jay-z drugging her allegedly they say he keep her high he keep her whoop-de-whoop-de-whoop they say him
I mean, if he cheating on her like he supposedly is, I get it. Did he run in the I couldn't stay sober about a man that was stressing my nerves or messing with my chakra, my chi, my peace. You know what I'm saying? I don't blame her. I can't blame her. Y'all tell me what y'all think. If your man or if your woman was cheating on you all the time, but you couldn't leave because y'all got businesses and children, all kinds of shit, you know, uh, you probably would smoke weed or drink or something. Man. Guys, the streets are saying it all makes sense now. Jay-Z has had Beyonce hooked on drugs for years, and all his dirty secrets are finally coming to light. Hardly nobody knows, but I say, man, yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She's been on them for a long time, and you keep her that way. Y'all wish it what you wish it to stay on top. But there's one thing about me, bro. I can't be bought. I'm not sure if y'all have landed on that street on TikTok where an ex-bodyguard of Jay-Z and Beyonce's has been spilling all the tea. But it is messy down there. Well, a lot of the videos have already been taken down. And as for why, your guess is as good as mine. But don't worry, I was still able to capture most of it before it went down. The man who goes by the name Uncle Ron was a bodyguard for multiple celebrities. And while it's not clear whether he's telling the So Uncle Ron, where has anybody seen or heard from Uncle Ron? I haven't seen Uncle Ron in a minute. What happened to Uncle Ron, y'all? I know that they took a lot of them. He took a lot of them videos down. He'd been real quiet. He been real damn quiet, so I don't know. We finna, we finna check out and see what's going on with Uncle Ron, man. Hold on. And while it's not clear whether he's telling the truth about his relationship with Beyonce or Jay-Z, I located images online which show a man resembling Uncle Ron appearing to serve as Beyonce's bodyguard. Uncle Ron has actually made a couple of allegations against J and B, including that they worked behind the scenes to destroy the career of fellow R&B artist Carrie Hilson after Carrie said something about Beyonce. He also said that Jay-Z and Beyonce's relationship is is merely a business relationship and not a romantic one. Then he dropped the bombshell that Jay has been drugging and controlling Beyonce for years. Okay, now if it was just Uncle Ron making the allegations that Beyonce has been on drugs, then maybe I would say that there's a great chance that he's not telling the truth. But the thing is, he's not the only one who said it. And the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in the uh, uh, No, girl. <laughs> Not my uh, uh, beautiful Beyonce five. I tell you this right now. Y'all talking about free Britney. Y'all need to be doing a, a campaign that say free Beyonce. Uh, Beyonce. She is a prisoner in a gilded cage. And just look at this video of B and tell me she doesn't look off to you. Sometimes it's overwhelming. Why if I give me my talent, my gift, my family? Woman. Why if I give me my talent, my gift, my family? What's going on with Beyonce, y'all? What's going on? What's going on with her in this damn video? Look at them eyes. What's going on with Beyonce, man? They saying Jay-Z keep her on. They saying Jay-Z keep her like Diddy kept Cassie. So she was on all type of shit, allegedly. Sometimes it's overwhelming. Why if I give me my talent, my gift, my family? But I know you're not supposed to question God. So I'm grateful for the life he's given me. I'm so grateful. I'm alive and I'm living a dream. So far, however, there's no solid evidence to... What y'all think about Beyonce and that damn... What y'all think about it? Y'all think she was she was on some shit? What y'all think? Let me know. Suggest that B is on anything. But people have also been suggesting that the only way Beyonce is still in the marriage is because she's on drugs and that the marriage is fake. So let me break down a couple of those things that make their marriage questionable. For starters, in 2008, Beyonce revealed that she was 18 years old when she met Jay-Z, noting that they started dating a year later when she was 19. 
However, a lot of people believe that Jay-Z possibly started hitting on Beyonce much earlier, but she couldn't say that to the press, of course. Then there have been the endless cheating allegations that go all the way back to 2005. At the time, there were rumors that Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce with Rihanna. And in 2010, the street started saying that Jay-Z had hooked up with an adult film star, Jasmine Cashmere. A few months later... Are you looking to establish your business using an address other than your home? Wish you had a professional business address and phone number instead of your home address and personal number? Wouldn't it be great if you could read and manage your business mail from anywhere? iPostal One can help. With an iPostal One virtual business address, it's easy to stay connected, protect your privacy, and enhance your business image. Plans start at just $9.99 a month you'll be able to receive mail and packages from any carrier and register your business using your new business address. View and manage your mail the day we receive it using our app or website. You can even pick it up. So how does it work? Simply choose a business address at any of the thousands of office buildings, workspaces, or shipping stores in our international network. If you want a phone and fax number that's just for your business, we can do that too. Then you can update all your business contact details with a professional address and phone number. When your mail arrives, we'll take a picture of the envelope or package, upload it to your account, and send you a notification when it's ready to view. From there, you just log into your account and tell us what you want to do with each item. Forward, scan, schedule a pickup, discard, or shred it, and we'll do the rest. With thousands of great reviews, our customers love our service. Stay connected to your business 24-7 with an iPostal One virtual business address. Sign up today at iPostalOne.com. Hi, I'm Zoe Gong. As a traditional Chinese medicine chef and food therapist, I love using Squarespace to share my recipes and wellness tips and to accept appointments. The membership feature helped me to monetize my content online while also building and connecting with a community of culture and healing. Jasmine's friends were spreading the news of a pregnancy and saying that Jay-Z was the father. But Jasmine took to Twitter to deny the accusation, saying, No, I am not pregnant by Jay-Z or any rapper from New York. Jay also made a public statement as well, saying that he and Jasmine had never even crossed paths. But interestingly enough, a friend tipped off tabloids that Jay had paid Jasmine two and a half million dollars to disappear. And Damn. So Jay-Z out here throwing M's. Jay-Z done threw some M's. He's, he paid her 2.1. Hey, look, going on. I got a wife and kid. Yeah, hell nah. Get your ass on somewhere now. How much you need? Two, two M's? That's it? All right. I disappear now. Don't, don't bring your ass back over here looking for no damn money. She coincidentally bought a new house around the same time. Of course, the cheating allegations were eventually confirmed by both Jay Z and Beyonce. And to date, some people still don't understand how Beyonce stayed. And according to them, it's probably because she has no choice. And get this, a close family friend tipped off the press back in 2016 and said that Beyonce is a workaholic who pushes her kids off on a nanny when she wants to smoke some weed, which is often. And that Jay-Z is a raging alcoholic and that Beyonce is scared of him because he can physically harm her. And that also wasn't hard for a lot of people to believe because Jay actually has a history of not having his anger under control. For instance, for those who've never heard about it or weren't even born yet, back in 1999, Jay-Z was hanging out in a club for Q-Tip's release party when he had an argument with producer Lance Un Rivera, and things escalated pretty quickly. And Jay-Z pulled out an eight-inch knife and stabbed the man. Then his bodyguards proceeded to beat the producer with champagne bottles until the cops were called. Now, at the time, Jay pleaded guilty and was bailed out at $50,000 and spent three years on probation. So, according to some people, Jay-Z low-key 
still has anger issues and B is scared of that. And you can't tell me you don't see how the entire marriage just looks like a business transaction. Even Do y'all agree with that? Does this look like some big ass business transaction between J and B? What do y'all think, man? And Akon once said that Beyonce and Jay-Z have always presented their relationship to the public as more of a business than a real relationship. Adding that famous people need to be open with their fans about their relationships or else they invite the kind of speculation that have always surrounded Jay-Z and Beyonce. Their relationship has been more of a business to the outside world than an actual relationship. Now to them, it may be a relationship, but it was presented to the world all I can say is that even if it's not about the drugs, a lot of people still think that Jay is certainly controlling Beyonce. Like this one person who wrote on Twitter, Jay-Z is a gatekeeper in the industry who has a lot of pull from different publications to streaming companies to judges to lawyers, etc. This man can stop Beyonce's career if she ever tried to divorce him. So let's not play dumb. Another person was just like, the way Beyonce went from being under one controlling man, her father, then immediately under another, Jay-Z, it explains a lot. Well, if there's one thing B and J also know how to control, it's the narrative. And apparently, they are already taking care of all the nasty things that have been making rounds as of late. Uncle Ron already claimed that Beyonce's team is going after him to get him to shut up and stop making outrageous claims against her and her family. Ciao. What y'all think of this stuff? Please hit the like. Please hit the like. He, he not drugging her. She's pro it's probably the label, but they, they they run themselves though, don't they? I mean, she she was signed to Columbia, or I don't even know who she's with anymore. Yeah, he is taking. He's pimping. Yeah, he's pimping. Uh, let me stop. <laughs> I mean, he has a song called "Big Pimping." Beyonce and Jay Z will do anything oh, he to destroy anyone who speaks out against them. Okay, I get the threats. Let me keep going. Somebody somewhere already taking care of business. Anyway, just to be fair, I'm just like, why don't y'all just. The fasting mimicking diet is exactly. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Let's move forward. Uncle Ron bores me. Plus, he's not even on the internet anymore. How old was she when when y'all met? How old was? That? Here we go. Deny. Even his former bodyguard and other employers close to him have come out and accused Diddy of doing this. It starts to become clear that Diddy is definitely one of those monsters in the industry. A good example of this is his current relationship with Young Miami, who's 29 years old. Diddy is 53 years old, meaning he's 24 years older than young Miami. When she was born, Diddy was already a 24-year-old man. But just imagine the opportunities Diddy has gotten for young Miami since the relationship. Oh, I don't care. Not on this episode. We Beyonce. We Beyonce. All right. So let me go on and get this other thing that I was checking out. This one is a trip. I don't, you know how some people be like, Beyonce's a witch. I don't think Beyonce's a witch per se. I think she practices Ifa. And Ifa is not witchcraft. It is also it's very much a belief system. You know what I'm saying? It's a religion. Hey, I gotta do one on Megan. I mean, what's her name? Yeah, Megan, man. Did y'all hear what happened what the news report's saying tonight? It's saying that Megan freaking. What's the home girl? The girl shot her. The girl shot Megan. And I knew that already. The girl shot Megan, y'all. Not Tory Lanez. Now, are they going to let this dude out of jail, though? I don't know. Don't know if they're going to let him out of jail. But that's the new news. I got to do one on that one tomorrow because that shit crack. All right. So let me get this other thing. Now, this is more like on the metaphysics. I don't know if everybody believes in, um, you know, the cards, et cetera, but this has been on point every single time. I'm trying to find it now. Every single time I've seen her speak on, oh, where is she? Uh, anyway, how y'all doing tonight? Please click the like. Please click the like. I looked at so much stuff tonight. I cannot. I'm trying to find it. 
Ugh, let me go back. Anyway, she's a reader. Her name is Sam and uh, Samantha, and she is on point. Hold on, guys. Good grief. Okay, I'm going to just go to this one for now. Let's check this out. Now, this goes into some Rihanna stuff, but it's fun. Let's do it. Here we go. Now, this comes from whew, Ratchet TV again. The story of Jay-Z and Beyonce is Rihanna next to go. Ciao. Ciao. Let's go on up here and try this. This is a bowl of popcorn. I'd be like, man, what the hell? Are you serious? Hosting it with her. All right. So now this Hosting is going it. into like the deep dive on Rihanna real quick. Let's check this out. Let me see what this say. I remember when Chris Brown, people reach out to my mom to try to recruit my sister was a little girl. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, Christopher? I see you in here. All right, here we go. Let's go on to Rihanna. Let's check this out. With her husband. And this was allegedly. Members in here, y'all. We got two. Hold on, it's the third one. No, that's Beyonce, where you at? Here is part 11 of a deep dive into the last 10 years of Beyonce's blind items. Here we go. In March of 2018 at the Oscars, one of the biggest parties by fame anyway was also one of the smallest in numbers. Our favorite foreign-born B-plus list singer and actress thought she would have no problems getting in. She was wrong. The singer and actress was denied at the door and told it was courtesy of this permanent A-list singer who was kind of hosting it with her husband. And this was allegedly Rita Ora. This permanent A-list rapper and his equally accomplished wife will be throwing an Oscar bash. If they threw it last year, it certainly would have included this disgraced producer as the distinguished guest or even guest of honor. People seem to forget that the rapper and the producer had a production deal together and that the rapper often supplied the producer with women, some of whom the rapper had been with in the past. And this is allegedly Harvey Weinstein. In April of 2018, the guy just got done talking about how he and his a wife are working through things that happened in the past, yet he hooked up with someone after a recent birthday party. And this is allegedly Jay-Z hooking up with someone else after Blue Ivy's birthday party. In May of 2018, this permanent a list rapper and this permanent a list singer have largely remained silent about this former a list rapper. That does not hold true for a sibling of the singer who thinks that the former a list rapper is trying to sabotage his career to get out of paying debts to the previously mentioned couple. The sibling has been talking smack to anyone about what she thinks. And this is allegedly Kanye West and Solange Knowles. This permanent a list singer is footing the legal bill so far for this recently disgraced record producer. And that was when Beyonce's producer detail was accused of graping someone and the attempted grape of Jesse Reyes. In July of 2018, I have written before about this permanent A-list couple and their uterus factory. Apparently in the last week, they cut some type of deal while overseas that gives them a license to continue doing this without fear of any prosecution. In October of 2018, this back in the day A minus list singer probably would have made it to A plus list, but she chose to get into a huge feud with this A plus list celebrity couple who made it their mission to make sure the singer had her singing career stall where it was. Our singer can't even get a club to sell out any longer. She should have probably stuck to her ghost writing career, which was pretty solid. And this is allegedly Carrie Hilson. Stick around for part 12. Man, man, man. Carrie Hilson got thrown into the mix. I start to wonder what the hell did happen to Carrie Hilson? Carrie Hilson, remember, at one point they was putting her up there. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm just saying, maybe my RB fans could tell me. I'm just saying that at some point Carrie Hilson was like at the she was at the top. Remember, they, they had her up there with like uh what's the old old girl name? Fantasia was up there at one point. It, it, it was her, it was 
uh, what's old girl that took out of her whole family? What, what, what happened to these people, though? Man? You know what I'm saying? Allegedly. I said Carrie had his. Carrie was like one of the top dogs at one point, like as far as the women went, but it's like that music just stopped. And what the hell happened to Carrie Hilson, y'all? I want to know that. I don't remember the last time I even heard a Carrie Hilson song. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I mean, I'm pretty sure she's still doing music, but I ain't heard her shit in probably like 10, 15 years. I don't know. All right, let's go. Here is part 12 of a deep dive into the last 10 years of Beyonce's blind items. This one is from December of 2018, and it is wild. It is called the SEX tape. Would it be the highest selling SEX tape of all time? I would say yes. It would definitely be worth tens of millions of dollars. <clears throat> Back when it was shot, it would have been worth just a fraction of that. Now, though, it would be the talk of the world. Shortly after the release of her second record as part of a group, this permanent A-list singer was head over heels in love with the guy that took her virginity. Oh, sure, there are legends and mythology about all of that, but it was just a guy she was crazy about and would do anything for. This was a time when there were cell phones, but they weren't recording an SEX session. This was There was nothing hidden or discreet about this recording. There was no motive to... Hey, hi, everybody. This is the Tommy Cove Show. Please click the like. Please click the like. Thank you. Thank you. Sell it. it was just two people experimenting. About six months after that, the couple split because of her busy schedule and the fact that the team thought she could do better and wanted to create this legend. They did so, and over the next few years, there was a solo record and even an appearance in a movie franchise. So about five or six years after it was originally shot, the boyfriend who made the SEX tape with our singer came looking to make a deal so he could sell the tape. Well, that would have brought down the whole empire just as it was beginning. So a deal was struck, a deal which sounds lavish, but looking at it from the perspective of today, it's pretty small. He was paid $250,000 a year for 10 years. He surrendered the tape and signed an NDA, and her people kept their side of the bargain. What they didn't count on was the same guy dating the younger sister of this permanent A-list singer. They also didn't count on his ability to talk her into making an SEX tape. The next thing they knew, he was knocking on their door and wanting to talk a deal for that recording too. A lot less, he would be paid a flat $250,000 one-time payment. If he had treated both as an investment, they would be worth 10 times what he got paid, and it has not been that long since he turned over the rights. I do wonder if they exist. The person who would know is the manager at the time who was fired by the permanent A-lister and had money troubles in the past. Would he ever sell it? I doubt it, but you never know exactly what he would do. He is not exactly pious. And the former manager was her father, Matthew Knowles. And they are talking about her sister, <clears throat> Solange Knowles. And the guy was a guy named Lindell Locke. Stick around for part 13. How whack is that? Solange, ugh. I see, I'm glad I didn't grow up with no sisters in my house. I mean, I had cousins and stuff that was like around my age, but that would get on my nerves if my sister slept with my ex-boyfriends and shit like that. That's whack. Yeah, so basically, you know, Beyonce and her boyfriend Lindell, they did a little sex tape when she was like 17, 18, something like that. And then um, allegedly... He was going to come out with a book. I kind of remember Lindell talking about writing a book like 20 years ago or something like that. But basically, they just thought it'd be easier just to pay him $250,000 a year for 10 years. That's freaking incredible. Are you kidding me? And then Solange go and sleep with him. And then he put her on tape. And then they had to go through that shit again. But they was like, nigga, we ain't paying you for no Solange tape. Nigga, we give you 250 which ain't nothing to sniff at. You know what I'm saying? But ain't that just tacky as hell? Ugh. Okay, back to the video. Look, who else was holding their breath the whole time? Like, man, what the? Whoa. whoa, whoa. Who else was at the, just holding their breath? Like, bro, what, what the hell is just? What is going on here? Chow, chow, chow. Get the likes up, y'all. Make sure you smash that like button make sure everybody in this building smashes that like button as you enter the live man we got to get this trending 
we got to get this one trending, y'all. Oh, man, that was, I ain't going to lie, man. These, the thing to be hitting about these blind items is because we know they're true. That's the crazy part. We can honestly say all the blind items we've seen and heard about Diddy, Jay-Z, and company, and we, we've only went through with Diddy and Jay-Z and Beyonce. Except for the one about Blue Ivy. That's definitely Jay-Z's baby. So I don't care what he said about this. I'm going to just go out on the limb and say that if you do drop the gems, if you do not drop the caps, let's go. Here is part 13 of a deep dive into Beyonce's blind items from the last 10 years. We are in December of 2018. With the new law passed, this a plus list couple decided to pay a visit to the country to see if there is anything they can do to save their surrogate farm from being closed. And that is allegedly about Beyonce and Jay-Z's surrogate farm in India. That concert event that started out here a few years ago that is basically just a money laundering vehicle has now managed to add another location with the help of the main beneficiaries to the laundering, which is the permanent A plus slash A list couple. And that was the 2018 Global Citizen Festival Mandela 100 in South Africa. In 2019, this one is from the Oscars, this permanent a plus list singer solo and in a group was assured multiple times by her permanent a plus list husband that the foreign born permanent a plus list singer would not be invited to a party last night. She was though and showed up. And that is allegedly Rihanna. In March of 2019, at least the permanent a plus list rapper waited until the permanent a plus list wife left for the evening before he hooked up with a celebrity offspring. And that is allegedly Jay-Z hooking up with Steve Harvey's daughter in July. So, so Lori Harvey, man, that girl didn't been with everybody in the damn industry. I heard Steve was pimping her. I'm, I'm going to just be real. I heard he was putting her out there. Like, What did y'all think about that? Are y'all surprised? Do y'all remember? Okay, so I remember seeing this video footage. It was um, one of Jay-Z's uh, like breakfast parties or brunch parties or something. And Lori Harvey was there. And she was trying to get, a, on camera, she was trying to like really get Jay-Z's attention. Like, but I mean, like you could tell, like obviously he must have invited her. And then on cue, Beyonce pops out of nowhere, like coming out like, here I am, you know. Yeah. Like, hey, they they making a, a hell of a hustle, I heard. I heard Steve over there. Uh, the, she cooking, he eating. It, it is what it is. I, I, that's what I heard over there. But I, I don't know, allegedly. But Jay-Z didn't been with Lori. Diddy didn't been with it. Diddy's son didn't been with it. Future didn't been with it. Uh, Michael, Michael B. Jordan didn't been with it. Who else? Everybody didn't been with this lady. I of 2019. This one name permanent A plus list singer thought she didn't have to play by the current rules in place, so she blew off the players. Now she has her worst performing song release ever. And that is allegedly about her song Spirit. This one named permanent A list singer thinks she can find someone to replace the person who has worked with her for decades. Nope, that person got her the songs and the music that made her the singer she is today. And that is allegedly Beyonce's music advisor, Teresa LaBarbara Whites. From July of 2019, the permanent a plus singer wanted nothing to do with the illiterate former actress. The singer put her in the same category that she does the reality family, forced to take pictures, but never going to be friends. And that is allegedly about Meghan Markle. This permanent A-list singer agreed to record several originals as well as classics for this live action reboot. In return, she got first say in who was cast in the lead role. And that was Beyonce for The Lion King. And apparently okay. she was responsible for Donald Glover being the lead in the movie. Watch out for part 14. Man, man, man. Hot mess. I'm telling you, Beyonce got a hatred for Rihanna. Beyonce can't stand Rihanna. I'm talking about when she sees Rihanna in the same room, Beyonce, she ain't smiling. 
Y'all ever do notice though, Beyonce and Rihanna are never around each other? Has anybody else noticed that them two ain't never around each other? Well, back in the day, they took pictures together, but no, nah, after she found out she was sleeping with her man, she was like, what the hell? Nothing other than how big the check is. Time and time again, people have tried to call them out for things that they have done or money they have taken, and they just don't care. Nothing is going to make them start now. This one named permanent A-lister knows that if she were planted in one place with a firm schedule, that it would just allow her permanent A-list significant other a better chance of cheating on her. And this is allegedly when Beyonce was considering a Las Vegas residency. Damn. So she In January up a... of 2020, under oh relentless God. pressure from the momager's office. So she gave up a residency because Jay-Z can't keep his peen in his pants. That's so annoying. On another note, let me switch gears with you real quick and let you see this Lori Harvey clip. He obviously invited Lori Harvey. See, he'd be playing these mind games with Beyonce. He'd be inviting his hoes to the parties and shit. And then his wife be like, what the fuck? Have y'all ever seen this clip? I used, I've seen this clip. Tell me what y'all think. Let's see. Go talk. Oh, D. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Well, now, if you notice, there's no other women just around. Everybody who's female at this party is strategically there. Like, nobody's there that Beyonce don't know about or don't want there, unless Jay-Z wants them there. Now, what the hell? Lori Harvey ain't no music person. Now, Puffy also is at this event, you know, and she did date Puffy, and she did date Puffy's son, but... This girl, let me show y'all. What's up with that head cock? Did y'all notice that the head cock backs? Let me let me check that. And then seconds later, Beyonce pops out. You see, Lori ain't around now. And look, he trying to walk away and she grabbing him like, no, 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 don't go yet. Now my way out here, yeah, no, that's facts. You ain't living that shit you said, yeah, you know that's cat. You ain't got the ass in when you see me, no, that's Goat talk. And they tried to play it off. Anyways, I'm just sick of people with these penises or these penis envy attitudes acting like they can't be pious to their mate. That shit sucks. It just sucks. Okay, no, I'm not going to show this one yet. Let's stay back to this one because this one's almost over right here. So let me click the like, y'all. If you're entertained, if it's a late night and you're at work and you're entertained, go on ahead and click to, you know, click like on this thing. All right, if you're at home, if you're just a night owl like me and you just usually can't sleep and you're up watching podcasts, click the like and join me. Subscribe to my channel. I do these. I do this during the day for my working folk, and I do this at night for my night shift folk. Shout out, Sanaa.
Shout out to Nye, my homegirl. She's a nurse. Night nurse. Okay, next. The office of this one named permanent A-list singer gave in and sent the A-list reality star a box she could open. And that is allegedly Beyonce sending Kim Kardashian an Ivy Park press box. In January of 2020, considering he slept with someone other than his wife at the party last year and that the foreign-born permanent A-list singer was also in attendance, it shouldn't surprise anyone that the one-named permanent A-list singer just did a quick meet-and-greet and was gone from the husband's annual shindig. And that is allegedly Beyonce making a quick appearance at the Rock Nation brunch. In February of 2020, organizers of a huge event that took place yesterday are upset that the permanent a list singer made the event about her and not the person being honored. The singer had demands not only from the press, but also for herself that were very excessive. And that is allegedly Beyonce performing at the Kobe Bryant Memorial. In May of 2020, the crazy thing about this investigation is that the permanent A-list rapper hired a few people overseas to do some illegal purchasing of streams of Arrival. That way, if the family member lost the sales battle, they would be ready to be declared the winner once the anonymous tipster said that there was illegal purchasing occurring. Salute to Eileen. That's just dirty. Like, they do dirty shit. You know... You know another okay now what we going to do when I do the Rihanna deep dive which I'll probably do tomorrow Rihanna lost her voice y'all did y'all know that like she lost her voice from all that cocaina the coca cola she been snorting all those years and then you know you can't just snort coke and sing it fucks your voice up you know barely had a voice at that you need me that's my jam though I ain't gonna front she was talking about Jay-Z on that song, by the way. But anyways, um, she can't sing no more. Like, they've done some recordings. She's tried to do some music. But but the reason she was hurt was because she had that amazing album called Auntie. Remember Auntie, y'all? And somebody over at Tidal leaked it the night before it was supposed to come out. Remember that? It leaked. And it fucked her whole shit off. So then she was just like, you know what? I'm going to just go on and give it to y'all for free. And that's what she did. Remember that? Y'all know about that. But I believe it was Beyonce. I mean, that's their label. You know, title is their label. And Rihanna had uh, Auntie coming out of their label. And it gets leaked. Who else is leaking it? Ain't none of their employees just straight leaking it. Nah, ain't nobody doing that. That's some dirty games right there. That's dirty. So be uh, uh <clears throat> so Rihanna wasn't ready to like just bust out another. She's like, fuck y'all, bitch better have my money. You know what I'm saying? So that's she just came out with a couple of singles after that, you know, and lemonade. Remember, she did a song called Lemonade, fucking with Beyonce. She did a song called Lemonade with Pharrell. Bouncing around, bouncing around, bouncing. Remember, right around when Beyonce came out with Lemonade. Rihanna be playing my games, fucking with Beyonce. I don't be I like Rihanna though. I like Rihanna. You know, I, I understand her struggle. You know, she's been exploited. Like, you know, Jay Z and them, they met her when she was on a little Barbados island when she was like 14. And she was just ready to get out of poverty. So she did what she felt she needed to do to get the fuck out of poverty. So, I mean, she was, she did what she had to do. You know what I'm saying? I can't judge that harshly. I just, Tori is on that 20 piece. On Cash App. Salute, Eileen. I appreciate you. I get some Cash App love. Dang. The streaming charts are rigged all the time. In June of 2020, when you are afraid to cook the books because you know people are watching, you get the true story of where a single lands, even for this permanent A-list singer in a group and solo. The thing is, the permanent A-list singer won't even use the trademark she won. She just wanted to destroy the life of someone and make sure that they couldn't use the trademark that they had been using for years. And that is allegedly Beyonce in the battle against the Blue Ivy Carter trademark. Stick around for part 15. Man, man. Are y'all ready for part 15? Just let me know in the chat if y'all are ready. Hey, uh, Sapphire, go ahead and uh, 86K Tay. 
Just go ahead and just just go ahead and 86 K Tay. Let's just go ahead and get that over with for tonight. We ain't gonna even play with him. Go ahead and 86 K Tay. See you tomorrow, Tay. So uh, yeah, let's continue. Y'all ready for uh part 15, man? Let's do this it. This shit. Let's do it. I ain't gonna lie, bro. All this shit is true, allegedly. I'm gonna just say allegedly, but you know what I'm saying? All this shit is allegedly true. But what- now clearly, um, you know, I'm getting resources from other people. Why not? Why not? Why do I have to reinvent the fucking wheel? Right? It's the same information I would be saying. It's just they already put it there. So boom. So no, I'm not getting no money for this. I'm not monetizing this at all. This is purely for the love of gossip. I just not gossip. This is community information. We need to be knowing what these black leaders is doing. And if they misrepresenting, we need to be knowing. We need that information out in the community. This ain't gossip. This is information. This is hip hop. And they messing up hip hop with their nasty, treacherous ways. So remember, that's where I'm coming from. <laughs> Not just T. But uh, yeah, if you'd like to donate to the Cash App, of course you can donate to the Cash App. It's right here. Look at that. Please donate to my Cash App, to Miko Show TV. I've had one donation tonight and I really appreciate it. Thank you, Tanisha. I really do, really do appreciate it. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. What do I know? I don't know shit. Let's go. Allegedly. 15 of a deep dive into the last 10 years of Beyonce's blind items. In July of 2020, this former one fifth turned one fourth needs to make a staffing change. This permanent A list singer pays the. Oh, that's Shonda person, Sapphire. Sapphire, check your phone, by the way. Uh, get that person out of here, too. Pack that person up. Uh, I am given work the next day, and that is allegedly Carrie Hilson. In August of 2020, I kept waiting this week when you know what I'm saying all this shit is a NBA player was in the news again with the decade for not wanting permanent A list singer pays this. Oh, that's Shonda person, Sapphire. Sapphire, check your phone. Out of here. Staffer to screw with the one fourth solo career, and that is allegedly Beyonce paying a staffer to screw with Normani from Fifth Harmony's career because she allegedly hooked up with Jay Z. See, that's what I'm saying. Why would you mess with Beyonce's man? Like, he's a whore. We all know he's married to Beyonce. Normani should know better. Now, Normani, she's one of the dopest broads out there right now. Her and Chloe, they're them bad little young ladies. You know what I'm saying? Bad, like dope. Beautiful, dancing, singing, sexy, talented. But all of a sudden, you ain't hear nothing from Normani. Normani had amazing hit after hit after hit. She ain't never really blow. She even did a, a song with Cardi B when Cardi was super up there, which Cardi's still up there, but you know what I mean? And it went nowhere. And now you know why. Because she was screwing, allegedly, Jay-Z. And I, I'm not, I don't blame Beyonce for that. Like, if everybody keep fucking on my man, I'm blocking all y'all bitches. I'm blocking Kiara, Sierra, Kiara, Miera, Giera, Normani, Dordani. I'm fucking blocking everybody. Just don't fuck my man. Rihanna too, all them hoes. They can all get it. I don't blame Beyonce at all. Where my beehivers at? Any beehivers in here? Put your bees up. Put some bees in the chat if you're riding with what I'm saying. I ain't heard nothing Beyonce did wrong personally. I don't care. Yep, she might have had an affair with Kobe. Yep, she might have had an affair with motherfucker. Well, Kobe was married to that Mexican girl. He, she shouldn't have been doing that. But that was back in the day. That was back in the day. I think that was before he was married to the Mexican girl. I think that was like when he was dating Brandy. He was dating Beyonce. Beyonce dated a few people, allegedly. I remember when she was dating most deaf. Anybody remember that? When she did that mu- that musical called Carmen for MTV? Her and most deaf was dating. I remember that. I remember hearing about that. She smoked, she used to smoke blunts with Snoop when she came to LA too. Don't trip, allegedly. Um, you know, she cool ass girl. Anyway, here we go. 
after being blacklisted for a decade for not wanting to ghostwrite for this one named permanent A-list singer in a group and solo, the singer and songwriter professed her love for the one named singer and was given work the next day. And that is allegedly Carrie Hilson. In August of 2020, I kept waiting this week when the permanent A-plus list NBA player was in the news again for someone to mention that he had had intimate relations with the one named permanent a plus list singer she had all of that scrubbed from the internet so that she can keep the perception out there that she has only ever been with her husband and this is allegedly beyonce sleeping with kobe bryant yeah she was around a little bit beyonce sleep wait 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 let's run that back i'm not shocked that is allegedly carrie hilson in August of 2020, I kept waiting this week when the permanent A-plus list NBA player was in the news again for someone to mention that he had had intimate relations with the one named permanent A-plus list singer. She had all of that scrubbed from the internet so that she can keep the perception out there that she has only ever been with her husband. And that's out of respect to Kobe's wife and all that. You know, when Kobe died, no, nah, she didn't want people all knowing she dated Kobe. They was a t- they was a thing. It was a thing. But you know, he died. You know, I don't blame Beyonce for scrubbing that off the internet. Uh, you know. And this is allegedly Beyonce sleeping with Kobe Bryant. So Beyonce didn't slip with Kobe Bryant. He also slept with Brandy. He also slept with Brandy. Y'all remember that? He slept with Brandy. He slept with dude. Kobe used to run through these motherfuckers. Let's not pretend like, look, they thought Kobe was soft. And look, Kobe was running through these uh, industry chicks. Kobe had them all, too. Kobe Kobe was like Tupac out here. I ain't lying. Kobe, Kobe was on them, on them uh, thoughts. He, they said Kobe Bryant had a chick in every city in America. Every city they went to, Kobe Bryant had a chick there. They said that dude, man, that I mean, think about it. If a basketball player is going to all 50 states, wouldn't he have a hoe in every 50? I mean, for real. Think about it. If I was an NBA motherfucking player, I know I'd be having me a hoe in every... Let me stop. Let me just... Let me keep going. That whole Colorado thing, man, that was fugazi. But, hey, it is what it is. That's a story for another day. But, look, Kobe had them thoughts. From February of 2021... This one's called Recovery. The singer-actress started her career when she was barely a teen. She has seen it all, and all of you know her. This blind is not only about those early years, although those are definitely blind-worthy. This is about her very long-term relationship with a permanent A-plus lister that every single one of you knows. Throughout much of their relationship, the A-plus lister has been married. Our singer and actress has been involved in other relationships too, but has pretty much always stayed available for the A-plus lister in case he ever wanted to be with her or left his wife. She wanted to be ready to jump. She was obsessed with him and spent a lot of time looking into his marriage and seeing if there were levers to pry to make it split. She was warned off by the wife several times. Our singer and actress wasn't going anywhere. This affair spanned a little over a decade. There came a time when our singer and actress was actively trying to destroy the marriage of the A-plus lister, and it got to be too much for everyone. Our singer and actress started using substances. The A-plus lister broke it off with her, and our singer and actress tried to harm herself and nearly succeeded. Over the past few years, she has struggled with sobriety and working on it has been a hit and miss. She gave a long time to the A-plus lister and she is messed up because of it. Salute. Flip mode on that three-piece. I appreciate you. Salute. And this is allegedly Brandy Norwood having a decade-long affair with Jay-Z. Well, please click the like. Please click the like. Please click the like. Thank you. Yeah, the one with Brandy really kind of blew me because I, uh, you know, Brandy, like every now and again, you'll hear hear she's in the hospital. You heard that, right? Brandy in the hospital. Yeah, she was so depressed over Jay Z. She attempted to unalive herself. Can you believe that dumb shit? Like, bitch, you knew he was married to Beyonce. You ain't about to be breaking up him from Beyonce. Dumb. Then, you know, remember she had that car accident and she killed somebody? Remember that? I had um, 
seen Brandy, like we went to the, there's this place in LA called Agape. Agape is um, by, with this brother um, Beckwith, Michael Beckwith. That's my home girl. Shout out Georgia and Muldrow. That's Georgia's step, ex-stepdaddy. Actually, her mother and stepdad got divorced. But anyway, Agape was this really popular spiritual center. We can't say church. It's L.A. It's spiritual center. Anyways, all the celebrities used to go there. And I was there, you know, because it's a beautiful church. I mean, it's beautiful. Like the the sermon, sermons would be really dope. You would see everybody in there. Tracy Ellis, like everybody, every fucking Michael Collier, everybody went to this church. Oprah, Oprah went to this church. But anyway, uh, Brandy was there and I was talking to her because, you know, we went to the same high school. I went to Hollywood. She went to Hollywood. I'm a few years older than her. Not that much. Let, knock it off. But we went to the same high school and <clears throat> we are distantly related, but I didn't bring that up. I've seen Brandy throughout the years. When she used to date Wanye, I was hooking up with the boys to men because I was supposed to be getting signed to boys to men. Remember I told you all that? So Brandy and I, we've had to wait to, together, okay, in certain spaces because um, when Wanye and Michael and them would be in the meetings, we'd have to wait for I keep saying Michael. Michael's the main one they kicked out the group. But anyway, he's the main name I remember. But that ain't even the main one I hung out with. And I wasn't hanging out with, like, dating, okay. Um, boys to men, they were very respectful to me. They were kind of scared of me. They thought I was a witch. <laughs> Nate, I hung out mostly with Nate. Nate was the, like the rep, like the one who handled their business. That's Wanye's brother. The one with the big old bubble lips with the glasses. Yeah, that's him. I used to hang out with him. I hung out with all of them. <clears throat> but um, yeah, anyway, when they would come to town, it, it's a long story. Ah, another day, godly. But basically me and Brandy was hanging out a lot. And I used to tell her, you know what I'm saying? Because she'd be like having tantrums for real. This is right around when she's about to start dating Kobe. But she was dating Wanye for like two years. And she was a teenager. Here's some tea. She was a teenager. I'm telling your business, Wanye. She was a teenager. She was 17. He was like 20. How old am I? I was 24, 25. So he was like, we're the same age. So he, Wanye is about 20, was 24, 25 too. So, yup, yup, he was dating a teenager. Go get him, y'all. Go get him. <laughs> oh, shit. But um, she was a brat. I thought Brandy was such a brat when she was a teenager. But she really grew into, like, a really nice, cool woman. You know, I like Brandy, to be real, really real with you. But anyway, when I saw her at Agape that day, after she killed them people, the lady in the car, I, um, she she really supported my music, you know what I'm saying? So I, I can't love respect to Brandy, but Brandy, that was dumb trying to fall in love with fucking Jay Z. Jay Z is a charming ass man. Everybody used to call him Camel Face and all that, but that brother got that brother got game. He got the gift of gab. He got a soft like voice and shit. Like he got a deep voice, but he's soft and then he's smart and he real tall. You know, he like six two, six three or something like that. He just, I mean, he got a, he got a vibe. Let's like, keep it real. He's got an energy about him, but um, he's Beyonce's husband. You know what I'm saying? And I guess the way Beyonce, I guess the way Jay-Z and Beyonce present it is like, it really is more of a business situation, but I don't believe that. I believe it's very much love involved, especially they have children and stuff. And you know, nah, man, nah, I, I would never date a married man anyways, but yeah, Brandy played herself with that one. But aside 10 years, though, <coughs> I mean, she was dating other people and all that. But she was sprung off some Jay-Z, but that nigga married. And she was just always wishing and hoping and praying that he would get out of the marriage with um, Beyonce. He said, oh, Lord, spiritual center. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah, and it's a beautiful spot. Agape's still there. Okay, when I go to LA, I might still go visit Agape. Michael Beckwith was a very great leader to me. He's a great spiritual leader. You can look up Michael Beckwith. He's DJ Kilo's father too for my West Coast hip hop heads. Woo woo woo. DJ Kilo, shout out Freestyle Fellowship DJ. Anyway, but um, his father is Michael Beckwith. You ever heard of this video or whatever called the Secret 
remember the secret was hot like around what 20 who like uh, what when was them times of the secret probably like 2006 27 not he said two, oh, 2006 somewhere around there the secret was this really popular little show where it talked about your mind you can make anything happen like you have the power in your brain and stuff like that to make shit pop but Michael Beckwith was on that documentary. He was on that series. And that's how Oprah got involved because Oprah just fell in love with The Secret. And she had Michael Beckwith on the show. Here's some tea. Here's some tea. So I was told Oprah was having an affair with Michael behind my homegirl's back, my homegirl's mom's back. Yeah, Oprah. Yup. Allegedly. And uh <clears throat> Yeah, that's kind of what helped the divorce pop off, too. Oprah was messing around with my homegirl's dad. Ain't that some shit? Allegedly. Okay. Now they say Oprah's a lesbian. Maybe. Sometimes. <laughs> but anyways, back to the story. Stick around for part 16. So who knew about Brandy Norwood and Jay-Z? Nobody did anyone else know? I mean, I I I heard the rumors. Well, in the, ser- in the Jay Z been cheating on Beyonce forever. Let's just not pretend like Jay Z ain't been doing him. Like Jay Z been act. He's just quiet, and everybody think he's just oh, he's a family man. That dude and wifed up the black queen, and man, that dude been running through these. Jay Z been doing this shit. But the thing is, it affects the career of the women. But they're dumb. Why would you sleep with him? I would never. Ugh. And also, uh, hold up, who's this that? Was tossing that color purple ass? <laughs> exactly, Chris. <laughs> but you know what? When he was with Blue Cantrell, I really, I could see like Beyonce being jealous of that one because they were still kind of getting together. They were still like dating. Hey, ladies, that was my jam. Blue Cantrell was the jam. And she could sing and she was beautiful. Have you ever seen that clip of Wendy Williams talking to Blue Cantrell about Jay-Z? That's what they say. This is the interview that got Blue Cantrell banned or gray listed. You know, I don't use black of the negative. Let me go there. Let me see if I can find that clip. When Wendy Williams, old school Wendy Williams, when Wendy was just a bit, Wendy would tell all the tea. She didn't give a damn. She would name names back then on the radio before she was, um, on TV, she would tell business. And that's why Puffy had her ass. He had her fired. And um, Wendy Williams, what? Hold up, let's go here real quick. It says, Wendy Williams drops bombshell on Beyonce poisoning Blue Cantrell. What? Well, first, let's get this clip, clip, cricket, clip, crick. What's happening, everybody? It's Wendy Williams of New York City fame. And I'm sitting here with Blue Cantrell. We are in room 1411 of the W O Hotel. Um, and I won't be there now when y'all <laughs> find out about the DVD. Wait a minute. You said she's overrated? Jay Secret Racism, you didn't think Blue Cantrell could sing? Now, see, I met Blue Cantrell. I had stories for days about everybody. Don't it seem like that? It's just when you're in the industry, everybody be around each other. So around this time, which was like 2000, probably 2001, two, I was doing a gang of work back then. And so I was on some TV show and I don't remember why we was, we was way up in like Pacific Palisades at some mansion. I don't know what it, it was from some TV show. Coolio was there too. Shout out, rest in peace too, Coolio, who they snubbed in the hip hop 50th anniversary at the Grammys. I'm going to do a whole thing on that tomorrow too. That is so whack. Coolio has done a lot for hip hop too. You know, he had some hits. He represented the West Coast very well. And he was a very cool guy and a good character. And he was a very good manager. But we'll talk about him tomorrow. But um, Blue Cantrell. So she was there. Blue Cantrell was there in person singing. And I thought she was very pretty. But, you know, they always try to tell you everybody's 25 and all this shit. When I saw Blue Cantrell, she looked a good 35. She was a good 35 back in 2002, okay? Which ain't old or nothing, but, you know, they'd be like, 22-year-old, Blue Cat, knock it off. So when they say Beyonce is three years older than what she really is, her and Brandy are the same damn age. Her, Brandy, and Aaliyah was all about the same age. All of a sudden, 
Beyonce three years younger. And if you notice, Jay-Z has been like 54 for like the last four years. Have y'all noticed that? Jay-Z was born in 67. I believe he was born in 67, 68, 69, 71. Yeah, he's like five years older than me. He's like 56 or almost 57. You hated that song? <laughs> They've been playing it a lot too lately because of this whole scandal shit popping off. Hold up, let's go. We're here to do the Blue Cantrell DVD. And to my surprise, I got the telephone call and it was Blue herself who wanted me to do this interview. Very big Blue. Oh, no problem. Cheers, Cheers to, you. to you, honey. <laughs> Why me? Let me just ask. Because we've met. Okay, we can, we can let's, let's really touch on that. Okay. Um, because so I'm not going to play the whole thing, don't worry, unless you want to see it. But I'm just going to play some stuff where she talks about Jay-Z. It's big ass P. Woohoo. Yeah, so that's what I heard. Jay-Z was known for just having this super big ass curvy, bit, per, curvy penis that everybody wants to try. And that was his thing. Men and women wanted to try his big, black, curly BBC. Because you're cutting edge curvy. and you talk about that curly, curvy things that no one else would talk about you address issues that no one else will talk about so or ask you apparently have nothing to hide I, I don't really care really honestly may call that call that you know what you want to call it so who's worked on on your album with you pretty much the same people that worked on the last album we have mike city we have soul shock and carlin mm -hmm. we have shep crawford Mm -hmm. You know, we have a lot of different people on the album. Who is the sports player? Can you please talk about the athlete from Hit 'Em Up Style? The one who this is for and just pursued me and kept calling me. And really? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God. Does he call you now? Is there a chance of you getting back together? No. Best and I'm the kind of girl, I like the guys to be, I like corny guys. I like guys a little corny. And stupid. No, not stupid, a little corny. Like, I don't like them to be, I'm a pimp, I'm a player in the club right. every night. That's me whack either. to me. Just like niggas don't want the girls to go to the club every night. Or pose naked. Yeah, exactly. Don't worry, I don't have any problem meeting men, by the way. But then, oh, I know. Ones that do like me. And I've had guys propose to me, but they were the wrong guy. Okay. Wrong guy. Wrong guy. On this album, what did you do differently than you did last album? Um, fast forward. I make that's what I'm about. I'm all about the business. Sean Ball, don't you love him? Oh, god, yeah, he's a hottie. Sexy about him, too. Yeah, yeah, he's a hottie. He's a real hottie. Yeah, I, I, I like him. Yeah, it's just a shame. There's so many hot guys in the business, and I'm just they're just not part of non approachable to me. Like, part of what makes them hot though is that they're in the business. If Sean Paul was a bad boy at the, at the Dagestino, no, but there's some of them, the ones that are big. Are the ones that really got it. I'm telling you, they got, they just got something about them. Just like, wow. Big in stature. Cause, you know, no, it's just two. something about them. Her skin is gorgeous. Y'all see that? I think two is the average height of artists, from two, these performers, and I hate it. <laughs> see, Jay Z has a, he's a nice, like, oh. size, right? Mm -hmm. right? Right, right, right. Part of his. Now, this is what's going to get her blacklisted from the whole music biz. Is why you only heard Hit Em Up style. Here we go. Wait, what's this? AJ secret racism. Beyonce damn near 50. Somebody exposed her Texas birth certificate stating the only bizarre Beyonce Gisele knows born in Houston was in September 1974. See, that's what Jaguar Wright's been fucking saying. But if she 50, that would explain her stiff ass body on this Renaissance tour. Anybody else want to be honest and tell me what the fuck? I did not like the album, nor was I, I couldn't even get into the album. They tried to fucking shove, we get it like that tonight on me. I just couldn't get into it. I love Beyonce. I'm not, I'm, no shade, honestly, but this whole, she would probably not appreciate this whole like video. So I'm gonna just, just yeah, keep it a buck. I did not like it. Renaissance. My daughter's trying to get me to go watch this movie. I'll go watch the movie because it looks pretty. But the music, I didn't like none of them songs. Not one. Okay. Not one of them grew on me. None of them. She was beautiful though. She looked, she looked good. She looked slim. You know what I'm saying? Um, but she was mad stiff. Did anybody else notice that? But I liked what she was saying. I saw some clips from the movie Renaissance, and she was like, you know what I liked about Renaissance? I didn't give a fuck. 
That's what she said. She was like, I don't give a fuck. I'm I'm not perfect. I'm sloppy sometimes. I'm I mess up. All that shit. I don't care. I just did it. I felt free. Fuck it. That's what she said. Beyonce said that, y'all. She even cussed. But um, that's I like that. That yeah, when you turn 50, it's something about 5-0. You really just don't give a fuck no more. Really at 40. At 40, it starts. At 50, it's con fucking con like for real. Like you just don't care. But she did great. If she's 50, she's wearing it well. She's drinking a lot of adrenochrome. <laughs> If you know, you know. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Allegedly, you know, they say they drink baby. Uh, well, they, I don't know about all that shit. That was what Coolio was trying to say. What I do know is that they put embryos on their skin. That's that's not just Beyonce. That's rich people. Rich people. Just people nowadays. They buy that stuff that's got the baby embryos in it. You know that shit that be like, hey, this skin cream, this cream will take the wrinkles away. And bullshit wrinkles. They use baby embryos. They use aborted fetuses from like when chicks get abortions. And they also use the fetuses from when like women, you know, miscarry and shit like that. Yeah, you use that shit. Baby blood. Yes, they use that shit. They use it and they have a name for it and everything. And it's legal somehow in the somehow for the rich people. But it makes them not age fast. Okay, that's what's going on. If you notice, Puffy don't look 55. Jay-Z's kind of looking his age if he would keep it real. He is not 53 or 50. He is not the same age as Puffy. Let's stop it. Puffy is about 54. Jay-Z has got to be hitting 60, yo. Like, quit playing. Okay, here we go. Appeal is his uh, size to you. Yes, yeah, his height. Yeah. My dad's height is around that height. So. Oh, so your father was a shorter man in the NBA? No, he's 6'4". My dad was 6'4". That's short for the NBA, though, isn't it? 6'4", 6'5". See, Jay-Z is about 6'4". That's what I'm saying. He's taller than, than, than uh, Puffy. And Will Smith is tall, too, like that. I was surprised to learn. I work with Will Smith. Let's rewind. Here. The NBA. No, he's 6'4". My dad was 6'4". That's short for the NBA, though, isn't it? 6'4", 6'5". That's tall. Mm -hmm. And Jay-Z's got like big. Jay-Z's like 6'1", 6'2". Like six six and that whole thing. He's not even, he's tall and he's nowhere near my dad's height. Yeah. Mm hmm Tall guys are sexy. Yeah. I don't knock short guys, but I don't really, I can't really do the short thing. They can't protect I them. already have too many midgets in my family. I don't need any more midgets in my family. Yeah. At the end of the day, you want to be able to be, able to be with somebody who's going to pick you up if you break your heel or something like that too, you know, and carry a few blocks. Yeah. So um, your CD, okay. you did some of the writing, you got the collaboration. And, and, it, and, you know, it's, they're really doing very well. How old are you? Give me that name since I was young. <laughs> More famous than wealthy? More famous than wealthy? Um, Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Okay, no, it's not. But that is pricey, though. Please. We were watching TV in the other room. Dead giveaway. Okay. Cantrell? Okay. Cantrell's my grandmother's last name. Uh, I don't have any children. I've never been married, so. So, um, about Blacktail, how did that all jump off? Well, she did a new thing. Dynamite? I don't know. Uh, the the girl now, now I remember why they got rid of her. Allegedly. So, when she came out with Rope a Dope or whatever style, him up style, the label learned that she had um, done like some nude photos back when she was like a teenager, a young woman, and they used that against her back then. Yeah, you could do damn near nude, but she did straight nude with like for black tail, like some D rated Negro nude magazine. From the at the magazine, she was quoted in Vibe when I did Vibe with 50 Cent on the cover. She quoted that. Um, you know, she didn't get paid that much money. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> so blue, $750,000 for Playboy. I have to be honest with you, I totally don't believe that. And we're not gonna discuss how much I got paid, but I'm straight. Let's just put okay. that way. I'm straight, yeah. <laughs> I'm good. She decided to do um, Playboy. She went the nude way. Like, that's why they really dropped her, I believe. Was that a misquote from the Daily News? Because I know how they. Oh, 
<laughs> but he's really good. Did you fuck Jay Z? Here we go. Oh my god! Rewind this. This is the part that got her fucked up. That's because I have a very good colorist. He's really good. Did you fuck Jay Z? Oh my god! I heard he's home like a horse blue. <laughs> oh my god! You know what I'm Really have them locked down. I think so. I think they're in love. I think they're in love. Is politics speaking? No, I really do think they're in love. I have a big crush on him now. See, what kind of shit is that to say? You know she fucked him. She never answered that. Did y'all notice that? Let me rewind one more time. Let's check that out. Like your color. Yeah. And this is why we liked Wendy. Wendy would be like, oh yeah, so you like the color blue and your name is Blue. Did you fuck uh, Jay Z? You know, like she be doing that shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. You look like a natural blonde. What? That's because I have a very good colorist. <laughs> He's really good. Did you fuck Jay Z? Oh my god! I heard he sounds like a horse blue. <laughs> oh my god! Did you really have him locked down? I think so. I think they're in love. Now, mind you, she never answered that shit. But anyway. I think they're in love. Is politics speaking? No, I really do think they're in love. I have a big crush on him now. I'll tell you that much. Did you fuck I still have a crush on him now. No. Sure <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I'm really selective about it. What? Really? She talking about, I really have a crush on him. I like tall guys. He's powerful. Because she talked about men who have power. He had all the elements, and you didn't have sex with him. Get the fuck out! And you a hoe, posing for Playboy and black tail. Get out of here, Blue Cat Trail. I think they're in love. I have a big crush on him now. See these bitches be crazy, man. You can't trust nobody. I don't blame Beyonce for being how the fuck she is. All these hoes would fuck on her man and be in her face like, "Hey, Beyonce, hi," and just got through fucking her man in the off on a desk or something. You know what I'm saying? That could make you go crazy, especially if you are in love. I'll tell you that much. Did you fuck? I still have a question now. No. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I'm really sorry. Says she don't even seem believable. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't feel that big, black, curvy dick. No. <laughs> she couldn't even say that with a straight face. Let me try that one more time. Okay, I promise I'll keep it moving, but this is funny. She can't even say what he looks. She can't even. She remember. She flashing back while they talking and shit. Probably fucked them that day. Hold up. Here we go. Mm -hmm. You look like a natural blonde. Here we go. That's because I have a very oh, good colorist. <laughs> He's really good. Did you fuck Jay Z? <laughs> oh my god! I heard he sounds like a horse blue. <laughs> oh my god! Did you really have him locked down? I think so. I think they're in love. I think they're in love. Is politics speaking? No, I really do think they're in love. I have a big crush on him now. I'll tell you that much. Did you fuck? I still have a crush on him now. No. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I'm really selective about it. What? Really. I really like him though. And I don't care. I don't care who he's dating. I always had a crush on him now. If he came in right now and we were all not here. What? I'm just saying, you're in New York. Yeah, okay. And what? And what you ran doing? into him and, and everything was right and right and right and right. Would you make that play? Um, I wouldn't turn it down. Let's just put it that way. Okay. But Bitch. and that's why your ass got blacklisted. I mean, couldn't she just at least say no? She couldn't even say no. She said, I mean, I wouldn't turn it down. You ho, I swear I I get your ass blacklisted too. Listen to this. Watch. Here is good. I'm just saying. You're in New York. Yeah. Okay. And what? what and you ran into him, and, and everything was right and right and right and right. Would you make that play? Um, I wouldn't turn it down. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Okay. But I'm, you know, you can't just go around just, you know, sleeping with guys like that because it might not even get you anywhere. You know. She's just saying that double talk ass shit. She already said what she meant. Oh, you have to be. You have to be smart about it who you choose to lay down with. It's so weird, because I so totally understand what you're saying, but there are so many women who misconstrue what you're saying as, bitch, please. You're spreading your legs wide hey, open. Hey, let me tell you something. 
Playboy and black tux. And they think that you're going around sleeping with everybody, but let me tell you yes. something real quick. Okay. There ain't too many girls that are like me. I don't just sleep with anybody. Okay. okay. You gotta court me. You gotta wine and dine me. You're from down south. No, I'm just, it doesn't matter. Just because you do nude pictures and you whiskey and you sexy doesn't mean you out sleeping with everybody. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? And I don't get down like that. Some of my best friends, I'm not easily impressed by men. Okay. Especially in this business because I am in this business and I've been around for years and I've. Oh, here she go, lying again. Let's get back to Beyonce real quick. Anyways, back to this trash. It's not trash. For a long time since Pac when Pac was alive. They said Brandy and Jay. He said, "Yeah, Brandy and Kobe dated. Yep, him and, they went to the prom. Nigga. She went to his prom with him. Uh, I had no idea. Damn, they sleeping with each other like it's nothing. I don't believe that Beyonce sleeps around. He definitely does. Michelle, <laughs> let me tell you something. Let me let me burst your bubble. I don't think Beyonce whatever. So she see she just stays home. And Beyonce is a witch allegedly." And Beyonce's name is on the Epstein list. I don't agree with the name witch. I don't think she's a witch. In European context, they may call what she practices witchcraft, but I don't think she practices the like witchcraft in that. Like, I don't think she's a Wicca. Okay. I think she's more like a voodoo, Ifa, Yoruba, Santeria type dick. And that ain't witch to me. That's necessity. <laughs> I'm being serious. I ain't making this up. Drop the gems right now. If you seen Beyonce name on the Epstein list, Jay Z's name is on there. Diddy's name is on there. Will Smith, <laughs> Jada, uh, Chris Tucker. Uh, the list goes on and on. I ain't gotta sit here, sit here and keep to y'all seen. Wait a minute. I gotta make a comment on this. This shit's funny. She said, "Jay Jay Secret Racism says Blue Cantrell is doing thought speak." Yes. Oh, I would never. Oh, I would. Yes, I would. Oh, his dick is big. Oh, did you have sex with? Oh, <laughs> I have a big crush on him, though. Oh, really? A 